Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. This is Alex Trebek from Jeopardy! and it's a special request to make him really big. I think it's for a school project if I remember correctly. So I love teachers and um, school administrators. So anytime that I can help out with a school project, I'm there. So I was a little bit worried about how big we can make this guy, but um, I figured, you know, you know my thing, I want the face to be seamless. So I noticed that on this side, the ear is a separate piece. On this side, it's connected. So I knew that I could extend this cut and make this ear separate and it would still look natural, right? Because why is this one connected and this, or this one connected and this one isn't? Um, and then that way the face can be maxed out at 11 and a half inches. And I knew if I turned it diagonally, I can make it a little bit longer than 11 and a half inches. So uh, let's see what we can do at 30 inches. All right. So I always put in the height and then I just let the width change accordingly um, because this is a locked image and that's what we want. So I'm going to make this, I'm going to zoom out a little bit so that we're not scrolling up and down so much. Okay, so here is the face. Let me move my face over because I never use the space over here. So I think that'll be good. All right, um, he's 30 inches. I feel a sneeze coming on. <laughs> <Ooh. coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. All right, let's ungroup this guy. Um, and let's see how big that face is. Here's the face. The skin color comes with the hands. So you can see that here, you can see it over here as well. So let's go to contour and just for the moment, hide the hands and this ear so that we can see truly how big the face is. So the face is 10.4 by 12.1, which means perfection because when I tilt this a little bit sideways and I'm going to unlock it, my new dimensions 11.8 by 11.8. That's not good. I need one side to be 11.5. So let's see what we have here. Oh man, am I going to have to? We're almost there. Oh, yes. So 11.499, that's going to let me cut. It goes all the way to 11.981, which means it will fit on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. Design space, when we go to make it, is going to say you need to put this on a 12 by 24 mat because you need 12 by 24 cardstock, or you need bigger than 12 by 12 cardstock. But We'll just trick the system. We'll say, sure, no problem, but we'll use a 12 by 12 mat, 12 by 12 cardstock. It will cut all the way to the edge. So you want to make sure that when you're positioning this, that you put it, um, you want to make sure that you line it up, okay, and go past the 12 inch mark just a little bit because you know it won't cut all the way from the top. So it's going to cut down a little bit and then go a little bit past the 12 inch mark. All right, keep that in mind. But this is great news. We'll just put him back knowing that that's good. So if his face is good, everything else should be good because everything else looks smaller. So we're good there. Let's go here and let's duplicate this for the ear, right? Because we're going to contour the ear and then let's duplicate this for the hands. Okay, so we're going to use contour because we've already contoured out the eyes or the face here. On this one, let's click contour. And what we want is, oops, what happened here? Okay, I want the hand or the hands and I don't want the face. Oh, hold on, contour. Let me just hide all, hide all for a second. I want the hands, not the face. There we go. So here are my little hands. On this one, let's go to contour. I want the other ear. So hide all, give me this ear, get rid of the face. Here's my ear. 
And actually, since I have another one, let's go to contour. Let's separate out the hands. So let's hide all. And let's do the right hand. Oops, hold on. Go back to contour. I forgot to, to unselect the face or deselect the face. All right, there we go. There, so here's this hand. And then on this one, let's get rid of the right hand. So click contour. And then we're gonna select this one to say, I don't want that one, I only want the other hand. All right, so his face is all good. Um, let's see how big is he is, where is my, he's 30 inches by 11.9. Do you know what that means? That means we don't have to slice him in half. So he's only gonna be sliced up, he's gonna have three lines running across because it's 30 inches. He's gonna look really, really good. All right, um, okay. Let's undo the rest of this. This is 11.1 .1 by 10.5, so it's great. Maybe we can leave it attached here. So his, that's so funny. His eyebrows and his hair match. Let's see, what else do we have? The eyes are, you know, it looks small, but it's not that small. So those are the whites of his eyes. Let's see what we have here. Um, what is that? So this is white as well. It's like his cuffs and parts of his shirt, like the, I think the collar of his shirt. So let's zoom in for a second. I would, I would connect these two and change it from four pieces to two pieces. It may not seem like a big deal, but honestly, it's so much easier when you don't have to keep track of small pieces and then you have to line them up properly. Then you have to tape them or glue them down properly. It's so much easier when they're already aligned <clears throat> as two pieces. So what I would do is bring in this circle make it really small and we can just attach it like right there. Like, I don't know. I didn't even know what this was to begin with. So the fact that there's like a little piece welding this together, I don't think it's going to look crazy to me. All right, so I'm gonna grab this and we're gonna weld it together. So we went from you know, four pieces of his shirt to two. And that to me doesn't look any worse as a collar piece than it was before. You're not gonna notice that. Um, with this though, I would slice this out so that <clears throat> you can smush them closer together and be more efficient when we go to make this. So I would do something like this. So let's slice out these parts so that they don't have to move together. You, we can you know, move them closer and cut them closer. So you can possibly use scrap paper or if you use a brand new 12 by 12 piece of cardstock, at least, <clears throat> I'm so sorry, at least when you go uh, with your scraps, what's left over, it will be more usable if you squeezed everything into one section and then you have you know, a big sheet of scrap paper. All right. Grabbing these two and slicing, and I'm gonna grab a drink. <laughs> okay, uh, let's move this out of the way. The slice results we can get rid of. So see now these two pieces, they can be really close together if we wanted to. And I would do the same for these two. And what else did we have that was white earlier? Oh, his eyes. So you can do that too with the eyes, but the eyes are so small, I think we're fine. Okay, so let's get rid of this. Now all the white pieces are, we can move them later. I'll show you what that looks like on the Make It screen. So we will go there so that you can see it. Okay, so we have more white here at the words Jeopardy. Um, normally, I don't like having each individual piece like this. But I think what would be really cute is if you used foam tape so the words Jeopardy kind of pop out a little bit more. I think that would look pretty. So I'm going to keep this as is. Yeah, these are all cute and whatever. Perfect. 
now we have all of this blue so and these are all in pieces so i think oh cute so the shoes come separate i would also with the shoes maybe have them stand out a little bit with the foam tape um so i would do that there and you can separate these by slicing or contouring if you're contouring you just make a duplicate copy because however many pieces you want to separate this into is the number of copies you need. So I want this to be two separate pieces. I need two copies of this. So here's my two copies. I'm going to go to contour and I'm going to remove one shoe. So there's this one. On this one, I'm going to remove the left foot. And so now they are two separate pieces. So, you know, when we go to the cutting page, we can maybe put something like this. So they don't, I don't know. That's not a big deal, but anyway. You're gonna need to do that with the blue. Now with the blue, oh, how cute is this? This little tie. Um, with the blue, with everything being so close, I would probably use contour to separate this out. So the pants is one. Let's do one, two, three, and four. Let's just make this into four pieces. So here's our second copy, third, and fourth. And let's go to contour and let's hide all let's do the pants first okay let's see how big the pants are <clears throat> oh the pants are tiny I mean not tiny but six and a half by five inches wonderful let's go to contour <clears throat> let's hide the pants and let's do this top part this is the only thing I don't like about contour is I put my mouse over the thing. Look at where my mouse is, but it's really selecting that this piece. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense to me. Okay, so that's all done. See, I put it here, but it's that piece. Um, what is going on? I want this piece. <clears throat> no, this piece. There we go. Um, oh man, what just happened? Okay. And then I want this piece. I don't want the pants. So here's this piece, 6.6 .6 by 3.1. We now we need the two sleeves. So contour and I'm going to hide all. I want this. Okay. I want those three pieces. I don't want the pants and there's that corner now I'm gonna go get this corner over here so contour hide all I want you you and I want this piece that's not highlighting there okay and then I don't want the pants done okay so this is such a fun character and he's easy. I love it. Okay, so he is all done. The only thing I wanna make sure we do is on this one, let's duplicate the face. And then we're gonna go and contour and we're gonna hide all. Okay, we want just a blank full face. And then we're gonna change the face to black because, um, if we have any seams right here, and there's a lot of open space, right? It's tiny, but you can still see a seam through his wrinkles in his forehead, or maybe a little bit in the eyes. We don't wanna see that at all, because his face is gonna be cute and wrinkly, and our eyes are drawn to the face, so we, don't, we want the face to be flawless. So this will help, because if we had a seam right here, this would go on top of your seam, and then this would go on top of this piece, which obviously, has no seams. All right, so that takes care of that. Now we just have to slice this guy up. So let's go and bring in our squares. Um, we know it's 11.9 by 30. So I am going to make my squares a little different this time. So just stick with me. <laughs> um, let's unlock this. Oops, where did my square go? Here, okay. We're gonna unlock it. We're gonna make it 12 inches 
by 11. So we're just gonna trick the system. Just follow me on this one. I will work with you. So let's put that down. Let's go to the position feature and we're still gonna round, okay? Round to the nearest whole number. So 6.5 becomes seven. Uh, our Y coordinate is 3.2, so it's gonna be three. So let me show you what that means. So X is the one running across. So we're saying go over seven units, go down three units, and here's the beginning of our rectangle. We're gonna duplicate it. We're gonna put this one really close to this one. And this one is at, um, it's at three, so this one, okay, we're gonna just round seven and 14. And last one, I don't know why I, I went off my usual process for a second and then got confused. <laughs> put it really close, you don't have to do any math. Um, round, 6.9 becomes seven. 25.25 becomes 25. Okay, so we have three rectangles that are flushed with each other. I'll show you the math behind it though. So this is at three. Three plus 11 is 14. There's my 14 plus 11 is 25. Perfect, you see how, so we know that they're completely flush with each other. Now what we wanna do is we wanna grab our black background. So scroll down. We're gonna grab him and arrange send to the front. Okay, so we gotta move him in so that he fits in here. Um, and it looks like, let's see where his face goes. Let's bring this to the front. Arrange, send to the front. Okay. So the seams would have gone through his eyes maybe. Um, and you know, you have the whites, but the eyes are never completely covered. There's always some black showing. And so um, it'll be good to have this little guy right here. Okay, so this looks good. Let's just slice. So we're gonna slice the top. We can only slice two items at one time. So it's one square at a time with the black image. And we're basically taking a 30 inch character and now changing it so that the Cricut can cut this guy up. So now we're slicing up the middle part. And he looks good. So this is 11.8 by 10.2. This, I don't know why this is showing like this. Let's go to contour for a second. Oh, just remove that little piece, okay. This guy is 10.1 by 8.75, 11.1, perfect. All of this we can delete. All right, let's save this as Alex, 30 inches. And let's go to the Make It screen. He's gonna look so cute. When you're making this, can you please tag me? I wanna see pictures. I think this is gonna be just adorable. Let's go to the Make It screen. I would love to do his hair in like a silver glitter cardstock. Everything glitter will be super cute. Okay, this is the warning sign. Don't worry about it, click okay. Um, okay, so here's our gray. Here are all the white pieces. And remember, we slice this up, like we can turn this around so we can really smush this in, right? That. Um, look how big the eyes are. The eyes are just as big as the word Jeopardy. Um, you could do something like this. Move this down. So you end up using only, what, three by seven inch and you have all this extra space for next time for another project. Okay, this is what I was talking about. Um, we want to tilt this guy so that he fits in our space at the 12. It's gonna be a really close cut. Okay. 
So I feel like I can't move that anymore. This can go up here. So when you're cutting this, what you wanna do is on your 12 by 12 mat, you want the paper, this is still too far down. If you find that this is really close, Yeah, this is this is still too far down. I feel like, um, hmm, I think I cut it too close because this relies on us really making sure this fits on this mat properly. Hold on. Let me see if I'm just having a hard time turning it that way. Let's move this shoe out of the way. If you find that's the case, I would probably just go and make him 29 inches, then you won't have any issues. Oh, there, this way it works better. Look at how much closer we are to the 12 inch line. So let me see if we have a little bit more room. So what I would do is I would turn it this way And you see how it's never gonna cut 0.25 from the top? So I would make sure instead, I would put my paper to go past the 12 inch line like this, and it will cut perfectly. These two little guys, you can either fit in the empty space up here, or you need to move them to another mat. And it looks like we might need to move it to another mat. We don't wanna cut that off. Okay, so to move it to another mat, you just click on the three dots, move object, and we're gonna plop it onto another black sheet of paper um, with the pants. And we need this. So this one, you wanna make sure, when you move things onto a different mat, you just wanna make sure that they're not overlapping. Okay, go back to this one, grab this other shoe, click on the three dots, move object, <clears throat> and we're going to put it with this one as well and move this over. Okay. <clears throat> oh my God, I'm having issues. All right. With this head, it's just a little bit long, so I would move it over and then tilt it. Oh, maybe tilt it the other way. and then tilt it a little bit more. And you can use the same trick. So you can see on this one, it's just barely over the 12. So I would put my cardstock barely over the 12. We gotta move this to a different mat, click on the three dots, move object. And since we don't have any space on any other black one, we're just gonna click on a new one. We want a new black, confirm. And now this little guy will be on his own mat. It's giving us, I don't know why it's, we'll get back to it, don't worry. It's just a glitch. Okay, here is our red on the card. Here is his face, same thing with the face. We want to tilt it this way. We wanna make sure he gets up in the 12. So I'm gonna move it over a little bit and tilt some more. Okay, then the hand, I think the hands will fit as well as the ear. So remember on this one, you wanna put it down a quarter of an inch down and it will cut perfectly here. And then the ear, you can move it right, maybe in like that. Perfect. Okay, so the face, the skin is all good. Here is the yellow card. Here's the blue. Now the blue, I feel like we can fit this onto the other one. So move object onto suit. We'll smush it all together. Oh yeah, it totally fits. Okay. 
I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> but then next time you have this, you know, like a nice rectangle for your space. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Sneezing, having allergy issues. All right. And then that. Oh, so this one. Do you remember how we had an issue? It was showing off the map, but now it's on. That's it. So you've got 12 sheets that you're cutting. Oh, actually, no. You have, this one's not one. And are we really counting the small ones? Like this one's just tiny, as well as this little yellow one. So you've got 11 sheets to cut, and it's gonna be stinking cute. All right, if you have a special request, let me know. I love doing these projects. Um, and just give me some feedback and let me know what you want to see, what you don't want to see, what you like, don't like. I'm constantly evolving and open to your constructive criticism. <laughs> All right, have a great weekend. Bye, guys.